hi guys this is Karen welcome to a new video this video I'm really excited to do because this is the first time I'm doing this on my channel well you already saw from the caption of this video it's going to be declutter of my lipsticks collection these are all of my lipsticks new and old and it's time to declutter well first of all i have new ones that i'm not using because i can't really see them there are too many lipstick i mean come on and one person yeah i'll pick it up why do i need so much so many lipsticks i don't know let's see what fell okay so i picked it up let's start and i'm going to start with this bean here which is packed with lots and lots of lipsticks let's see what we have here i'm going to start with my kiko milano i have a few i think i have more yeah i have four maybe even five nope four well i thought i had more but basically not i have four by kiko milano this these okay i'm showing them to you but you can't really see that it's kiko milano okay these are kiko milano and i got them uh, i was in italy when i was in italy it was 2017 or 2018 i think it was 2017 so even if it's 2018, it's mean they're too old. I mean, we're 2021, three years or four years. I don't know. But let's see them. Um, I don't know. You can't really see the collection. This is number five. This is a brown. Okay, this is a very nice. Well, it's a brown. It's a burgundy. Beautiful burgundy shade. They don't have any scent to them. Okay, this is very nice. Okay, let's see all these shades and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep them or not. Wow, this is so beautiful and so creamy. This is shade number six. So, this was five and this was six and they are so beautiful and creamy. Okay, now I have one. Which is a nudie one. Yeah, a definitely nudie one. This is number... Which? Number one. So this is number one. So five, six and one. And the last one... Well, I know that I'm missing one. Because I have another one. I don't know where it is. Because I remember the shade. So this is a pink one. And this was number... Three. Now this is an old series, I don't know, I don't think they'll make them anymore, so... Well, the pink one, I definitely don't like, I don't think I ever used it, it's too pink for my likings. And... Well, the others are okay, I don't know if I should keep them or not, because they are three or four years old. But I don't know, they look so beautiful. Okay, I'm definitely going to get rid of this one, which was, yeah, the pink one, I don't need it. I'm definitely going to get rid of it. I'll put it here in this pile. All the others I'm going to put in my maybe pile. So we'll have three piles, a maybe, a yes, and a no. So let's put this here. This is the maybe pile. Okay, let's see what else I have here. This is by Essence. This is long lasting number 27 by Essence. It's a very purpley shade. This is the shade here. An eggplant. Beautiful shade. I, never, I didn't think it's going to be that hard because I was sure I'm going to get rid of this all of the Kiko and the Essence one but look at that, it's so pretty okay, going to the maybe pile it looks like I'm going to have a lot of maybes look at that. they're so beautiful 
Okay, this guy again from Kiko. This is relatively new. I don't think I have it for a year even. This is the ultimate double touch. It's double sided. You start with the shade, oh, the shade number is, is three. This is number three. You start with this side, very corally, and then apply the clear side. Very coral shade. I basically don't really use it, but it's new, so I don't want to toss it. So, what do you say? Okay, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to have a big maybe pile. Do you notice something going on here? So this is also in the maybe pile. Well, I have two that I'm sure I'm going to get rid of. But don't say sure before you swatch. Okay, <laughs> these are Maybelline. This was the Vivid Matte Liquid. And I have them in two shades, 35 and 30. And you know, this one is separating. I usually use these shades to when, you know, my kids used to play dressing with costumes and stuff. This is the shade number 30. And 35 is a big deep red, looks like blood. So when my son was, uh, well, Dracula? I think Dracula or some sort of, I don't know, um, I don't remember, it was a long time ago, I used this red for blood. But these I'm definitely not going to keep, so these are going on the trash bin. Trash is going to be here. Okay, now I need to clean my hand. Okay, I took a reusable cloth and micellar water by Garnier. Let's clean all of that up and let's see how they are cleaning. Okay, the Kiko one is stubborn and the Maybelline are staining my hand, seriously staining my hand. So that's a bummer. They're very pigmented, the Maybelline, and they were very popular at the time when I got them. Okay, now I have two by NYX. Uh, these are the only two NYX uh, lip products I have. I think maybe this, these are the only products by, lip, by NYX that I have. These are the fillers. This is the Filler Instinct Plumping and Plumping Lip polish. I have it in two shades. One is brunch dark, drunk, sorry. Brunch dark, <laughs> brunch drunk and sparkling please. So sparkling please and brunch drunk. Strange name. Let's swatch them. Now, these are beautiful shades on the lips. Very, very beautiful but they are so sticky and I don't like the sensation I have. Look at them, they're so beautiful. But the sensation on the lips, you know, I don't know. I want to put them in the no, but I'm going to put them in the maybe because they're new. I didn't really use them that much and I don't know, but I don't like the feeling on my lips. I mean, I just use them because when I use only them, yeah, there is a tingling feeling, you know, I can live with it, but it's drying my lips and I hate something that dries my lips. So, but look at that beautiful shades. I really, really like the shades. So I'm going to put them in the maybe pile. The maybe pile is going to, is growing and growing and growing. Okay. Next up, by L'Oreal. I have this guy, it's so old. This is called Casual 202. This is a beautiful shade, and as you can see, I really, really used it. I opened it to the end. It's a beautiful shade. Fuchsia, beautiful shade. And 
I'm going to keep it because I love the shade. So this one is in the keep area. Keep area was... Okay, so this is maybe... Oh, I put... Okay, this is the no pile here. The keep pile is here. Okay. <laughs> yes, definitely. Okay, two more L'Oreal's. I think I have another one. But who knows where it is. I should have another one. Somewhere. What, not all my lips? Oh, I know, I have another one in my purse. Because I love it so much. Okay, I have two one. This is from the Color Rich Shine. I have 908. And this one is 245. And these are beautiful shades. Very creamy. Very soft on the lips. I love them very, very much. And I'm going to keep them. But I'm going to show you the shades. So, 245. I have another one which is a pink, more of a pink shade. I have this one, this is 245 and this is 908. Beautiful shades. These are going to be in the keep pile, which is here. I keep forgetting where is the keep file because the keep file is not in a good place. I'll put them here. Okay, next up from Maybelline. This is Nude Embrace 930. This is relatively new. I remember buying it during Corona. So it's definitely new. It's a nudie, beautiful shade. This is it. Definitely going to keep it. It's beautiful. Very creamy. Doesn't dry my lips. So definitely a keeper. Okay, I have now from Kiko Milano to this is the Ocean Feel series. I have number one and number two. Okay, so let's start with number one. Number one is a beautiful color. It has glitters in it, which I love. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. And number two is more opaque. It doesn't have a lot of glitters inside. It doesn't have a glitters at all. Sorry. It doesn't have any glitters at all. So this is definitely matte. And this is more of a pigmented, sparkling shade. Number one and number two. And I love them both. I love Kiko Milano's lipsticks. I think they are amazing. I have another one from the new another two from Kiko Milano from the newer series these two where is the Kiko yeah logo here there are the new series this is smart this is 404 and 405 so before losing space on my hand 404 is this guy here what a beautiful nudie shade and 405 which is more of a pinky shade still nude so 404 and 405 both of them are nudie shades this one is a bit more brown this one is a bit more pink but i have to say that on the lips they look the same so you don't need to buy both I do recommend buying only one because on the lips they do look the same but I am going to keep them. I love Kiko's lipsticks a lot as you can see. Okay, now I have a trio by Maybelline and, and then I'll clean my hands. I have a trio by Maybelline. This is the uh, Superstay Ink Crayons. I have three shades. These I have three shades. I have uh, 10, 15, and 25. Okay, so let's start. This is... Okay, yeah, we have to open it. So this is 10. Beautiful brown shade. And next, let's take 15. So this is 15 in the middle and 25 at the end look at that 10 15 25 very very creamy 
and I love the fact that they can double as a lip liner now if you didn't know there is a sharpener at the end of each one if you didn't know that it's very very useful so I love them look what beautiful shades and they are going to be in the keep file which is the yes pile what do you say file you say file pile never mind the yes pile okay wow this is going to be harder than I thought but time to clean them up let's see if the micellar water is going to do the trick and they are all going to be erased now I stopped using wipes so I don't have any yeah okay yeah it did a good job my hand is clean and look at that all dirty never mind my washing machine loves to clean them up well, I have a trio by Ofra in collaboration with Nikki tutorials this is old I don't remember how old I'm guessing two years three years I don't know I don't think two years I think more closer to two and a half or three years old this is a collaboration between Nikki Tutorials that I love so much and Ofra that I love also. So they had three shades and the sticker is only on this one. So, and I don't know, it fell. So this was Nude Potion and I don't know the names of the others, but it was a collection by uh, Nikki Tutorials with collaboration with Ofra. Now, I'll show you the shades. This was the first one. This is the second one. And this is the third one, the orange one. Um, now the shades are beautiful. Very, very beautiful as you can see. But maybe it's because they're old. I don't know, but they're very, very sticky and they're not comfortable on the lips and I have them for a long time and the orange was never really my color and this one is too light for me and this one is a bit too dark for me so I'm definitely going to declutter them so they are going on to the no I really really love them and I love Nikki tutorials as a creator and I like Ofra but they're old and the sticky and I don't really connect to the shades so bye Okay, I have six on my no pile. I'm impressed. More than I thought I will be. Okay, now uh, let's take these four from the bomb. They are still in the boxes. I don't know why. Maybe this is why I'm not reaching out to them that as much because they are in their boxes. They are called Plump Your Pucker. And I have, oh, for shades okay let's start let's start from the right and you know what i think it's time to get rid of the packages because otherwise i won't use them this one was a shade where is the shade oh here overstate so this is overstate and i don't i rarely use them this is a very, 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 so, very soft color, a very nudey color. I think on my lips it's just um, sheer on my lips, if I remember correctly. Now the other one is called X Great. X Great. Don't understand the, the, the names of them, but I love the packaging. And this is how it looks like. This is definitely has more coverage. As you can see, this is not transparent as this one. The th third one is Amplify. Okay, this is Amplify. And it's a pinkish. Oh, looks very beautiful. And I, as I said, I'm not using them just because they're in their cases. Why did I keep their cases? 
this is it well okay it's not on the order hmm. never mind this is the pinkish pinkish one it's more shimmery than the third one and this one is elaborate which is this beautiful shade here i'm definitely going to keep them they are very very new oh this one is also very opaque and these are the shades they are very beautiful and if i remember correctly they were okay on the lips i don't remember anything special about the lips so i'm going to get rid of the boxes but i'm going to keep the lip glosses so let's pucker up i have additional from essence i have three more from essence so let's see what we have we have this red this is long lasting zero two which is very similar which is the same not similar same line as the plumpy shade let's see the plumpy shade again this was 27 so this one's very plumpy eight plenty this was only maybe pile this one is very very red very dark red and okay i have three from this line here i have three shades from this line this is the velvet matte lipstick this is 06 this is this color here and i have 08 which is an orange shade and i have the last one which is 03 which is my favorite as you can see it's almost over almost almost over <laughs> okay so as i said this was okay so six and okay let's get six eight and three yeah okay this one i love and it's almost about to end its life and it is so sad because i love it and i'm going to repurchase definitely this one is very nice but i don't like the orange at all it's too too opaque it does nothing to me it's going to go to the no pile not even the maybe but the no pile i don't really like it but i'm going to keep these two and i'm going to keep the red one because i don't have a lot of red in my collection and sometimes a girl need her red shade oh speaking of red i have this guy by Lancome this is a mini that my mom got when she bought something in Lancome and she brought this to me this is so tiny okay this is number 132 and this is a beautiful red and I'm going to apply it next to the red by Essence now this is gorgeous this is the Essence red this is the Lancome red this is Lancome is essence very similar but this one is more orangey and wow I forgot I have this guy I'm going to definitely keep it oh this is so beautiful and it's cute look how tiny it is let's take for comparison the regular side size of a bullet lipstick so you can compare and I love minis I love minis I don't know if you heard me say that before in the past I love minis okay time to clean this hand this is so beautiful okay let's clean that same guy same missile of water let's see if the reds will stain oh not so much okay which one is the stainer I think it's the essence one or the Lancome one one of the reds is a stainer yeah i should have brought another one of this but never mind we'll make it happen yeah clean is a whistle okay i have two by revolution i got them in a set that i bought once it was a pr set that i bought from revolution around christmas these are called 
Renegade. Oh no, the shade name. This is Renegade and Seduction. Renegade and Seduction. Uh, this it is. Well, it just says Revolution. I don't know from which line. So Renegade and Seduction. It's strange because I thought Seduction is going to be the red one. So the red is Renegade and the nudie is Seduction. Very basic shades, another red. Not my favorite of my collection because they are a bit drying and I have to apply the lip oil on top. So not really the, my favorites, but they're new and I need to use them more. And I love the packaging. So I'll keep those. And I have from e.l.f. This is the Lipstick Duos. This is from Night to Day collection. So we have the Day side, which is the lighter shade. Or maybe like this. So this is the Day shade. And this is the Night shade, which is a bit darker. Okay, so you can see the day shade, a the night shade, and well, they're very good. They're creamy. I like their the feeling on the lips, but I have to say that the light. Okay, what what did I do? But the light shade is too light for me, so I usually apply the day shade, and on top of it a tiny bit of the night shade, and mix them together because this shade is a bit too too light for my skin tone but good quality definitely going to keep it and it's relatively new okay now i have three lip oils from colourpop one is still in the box because i haven't used it it's new i haven't used it at all i didn't even try it but you can see that i really really like my lip oils how you can see that because you can see this one is half empty and this one is also a bit empty but you can't really see that okay let's start with this this is local time and i don't think you're going to see a lot because it's very very sheer this is it it looks dark but it's very very sheer this is bengal this is the one that i have on my lips today this is Bengal local time and let's take it out of the box which the name is where is the name oh hey with three Y's oh it's brand new Ooh, okay this is sheer oh I was I thought it's going to be like Bengal but it's closer to local time See? It almost has no pigment in it. Hmm, bummer. Yeah, so this is the new one. Yay! Bengal and local time. So this is... Look at the shade. It looks so beautiful, but it's transparent. Bummer. Okay, I'm going to throw the K, the box. I don't need it. And definitely going to keep the three foils. Well, this is the pile of the keeps. What a declutter is going to be. <sighs> okay, my style of declutter. Okay, we have oh, this box here still to cover. Okay, I'm going to take this one by Huda Beauty. This is the Silk Balm. This is I got as a mini in a set that I bought. And if I remember correctly, it's transparent. Yeah, you can't really see the shade. It's nice on the lips, but not my cup of tea. I will definitely not repurchase this. I'll just use it until it's over. Definitely not going to repurchase. It's a bit too sticky in my likings. And this is the first and only Huda product that I have. So definitely, definitely not going to repurchase. It's just nice and it's new. So I'm keeping it. Next up, this one is 
from Lime Crime. My only product from Lime Crime. Also receiving some kind of box. This is the Wet Cherry. Now this guy shade is Naked Cherry. Oh, Wet Cherry is the line and the shade is Naked Cherry. Now the, the, the scent of this, oh look at this, so small. It's a mini, as I said, I love minis and the smell of it wow i mean wow and the shade is cute look at that this is very very cute this one here this guy this is the huda and this is the sherry they, they do look the same almost the same this one is a bit more pink i really really love it and the scent i can smell it all day Definitely going to keep it. Uh, I'm going to keep it in the box. I don't know. I love the box. It's so cute. I, I, I can't bring myself throwing it away. So I'm keeping it in the box. Okay, another guy that I got in one of those boxes is this guy from Siate. Only product I have from them. This is called Watermelon Bust Hydrating Lip Oil. Well, you're not going to see anything because it's sheer. So, here. It has a watermelon scent. I don't. What I don't like about this guy is the packaging because it's leaking from the packaging. So everything here is sticky. So I don't really like that. But other than that, nice product, nice lip oil. Now, three from Revolution. Also, I got them in the same PR box that I bought on Christmas, around, after Christmas, around Christmas, after Christmas, yeah, after Christmas, I bought the PR packaging from Revolution and I have these three lip glosses. I don't know, I haven't used them since, maybe once in a video, but not ever since. I have no clue to the name of the shades, so this is the first one. Oh, I needed to clean my hand. This is the first one. This is opaque, UD shade, very, very nice. This one I remembered using uh, once or twice, maybe. Well, this is white with shimmer, so you can apply it on top of lipstick. And the third one is the the one that I like the most, which is a pink gold. I don't know if you can see it here. This is it, second one here. Yeah, this is pink gold and it's shimmery, very nice. Now it's sticky, it's a lip gloss. It's sticky on the lips, so I'm not really into sticky lip glosses. But I'm going to keep them because they're new and they are very, very beautiful. So I'm going to keep them. Uh, well, I'm looking at the pile and I know that I'm going to probably keep everything I have there. And it's not going to be a very good declutter. Let's clean my hand. <laughs> okay, so far we have in the maybe pile four five six seven and in the no pile one two three four five six seven oh so seven in the no pile and seven in the maybe pile and a lot more in the yes pile okay i think everything else i have well maybe there are potential for maybes so let's see okay i have this guy i bought on iherb this is the Samuel Mousse Candy Tint in the Grapefruit. Yeah, Grapefruit. This is cute. It's a moussey, cream, creamy consistency. Very strange. Very orangey. I thought the tint was going to be sheerer, but this is definitely more opaque. It doesn't have a scent of a grapefruit. That's for sure, but it's nice and it's smoothy and it's new and I'm going to keep it. Okay, next up is from Revlon. This is 430 Soft Silver Rose. 
relatively new as well i think also for my eye herb very pinkish i don't know why i got it i really don't like that much pink for some kind of reason it's nice it's more of a nude than a pink and it has some shimmer in it and it's comfortable on the lips so i don't have any reason to declutter it yeah you're going to hate me at the end of this video <laughs> okay this is from loxit Done. this is a lip balm if i'm not mistaken this is so small i can't read it but if i remember correctly this is a lip balm and this is how it looks like i don't know why i bought such a dark shade look at that it's supposed to be a lip balm it's supposed to be sheer with a tiny bit of tint definitely not sheer and it doesn't have a tiny bit of tint it's very very dark orangey color not my favorite but i really like it doesn't have a scent but i really like the quality of the L'Occitane loxitan lip balm okay now well let's start with these three i have this these three by AWB Makeup. No, this is supposed to be upside down. Okay, this is it. I have three shades. This is, as I said, my AWB Makeup. This is the Switch It Up collection. I have the first three shades in the collection. I have Coco. Now, what there are as it says it says switch it up duo lipstick so duo lipstick and gloss so one side lipstick one side gloss this is as i said coco so this is the lipstick of coco and this is the gloss of coco the gloss is a uh, gray well this is supposed to give your uh lipsticks some kind of oomph to them I really really like it i don't have anything similar to that in my collection as you saw right now i have rosa which is this guy here and this is the lipstick of rosa this is a pink definitely pink shade and the gloss is a bit darker and you pro you you definitely have two shades in one product and you can combine I have a video I think in my channel where I switch it up and try uh, different shades Sophia so different shades of lipsticks and different shades of glosses this is Sophia very similar to Rosa but Rosa is definitely deeper in the shades and Rosa is lighter Let's see the gloss of Rosa. Definitely darker. And as I said, in each one you have two shades. So Coco, Rosa, and Sophia. Yeah? Sophia was the last one. So Sophia, Rosa, and Coco. Love them. They're new. And I love playing with them. And I'm keeping them in the boxes. Yes. I know. Please don't ask why. I really don't know. Well, we're almost over. Yeah, it's almost the end of the pile. Well, this is my only MAC lipstick. This is the only MAC lipstick that I have. This is in the shade 808. This is from the line Faux Satin. This is 808. This is a nude shade. I got it as a gift. I don't really remember why. It's nude it's cute but I don't really like how it sits on my lips so it's going to uh, be saved just because it's new from this declutter but I guess next declutter it's going to the bean because I don't like the feeling on my lips I have to apply it and I always apply a lip oil on top because otherwise I don't like it okay Next up from 
BH Cosmetics. This is the cashmere cream. This is the only lip product I have from BH Cosmetics. This is new, it's in the box, it's new. I'll toss the box. I don't have, don't really like it. Don't like the box. But look at this shade. Very, very cashmere. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is some kind of purple pink shade. Some kind of fuchsia with purple. And it's nice on the lips. I mean, it's nice. I'm definitely going to keep it. It's new. Okay, from Juvia's Place, this is the first and only lip product that I have. This is from the Nude Mauves series. This is in the shade Chic. And look at the packaging. This is so stunning. And the shade is beautiful as well. This is it here. It's so beautiful. And it's... Well, look at the beautiful shape of it. This is so nice. And it's creamy. It's comfortable on the lips. It's a dubious place. I love it. Definitely going to keep it. And I love the box. It's so cute. Okay. Now, almost last. This one is by Dr. Pow Pow. It's not really a lipstick. But it does have a color. So I thought I'll put it in this collection. This is an orange tinted one. It's a lip balm with a tint and I have two like this one small and one large mm, not my cup of tea but it's new and I'm going to keep it I'm not sure it's going to last another declutter okay last trio last trio by Anastasia Beverly Hills this one I got as a gift when I bought one of her eyeshadow palettes like two years ago these are magnificent. They are so beautiful. They were a set and they are beautiful. Okay, let's see the white one. It's a white pearly one. Look at that iridescence and beautiful. And I love it so much. Love the shade of it. This one is a burgundy. and also look at that it's too deep for my liking and gold I mean who doesn't like gold what happened to it it's dry well hardly anything comes out I don't know I hardly use it this is the gold so these are the trios gold burgundy and this iridescence white well, the colors are nice. I don't really like this burgundy color. The white is nice. The gold is a bit dry. But it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's sticky on the lips. Don't get me wrong. It's very, 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 very sticky. You know, let's do a demo because this is the end. So I'm just going to apply it to my lips. Look at this iridescence. is so beautiful now I have it on top of a lip oil and since I have it on top of a lip oil it's okay it's not sticky and it's not uncomfortable so maybe this is a trick because usually I apply it directly to my lips and then I don't like the sensation on my lips when I do that. But on top of a lip oil, it's okay. So, you know what? I thought I'm going to get rid of them, but I'm going to keep them. But I'm not sure they're going to last another declutter. Okay, so the box is completely empty and we went on everything. So this is the keep file, which is enormous, okay? In the maybe, we have, as I said, seven items, five Kikos, and two Nicks. In the maybe pile, oh, I, no, three, 
four Kikos, one Essence and two NYX are in the maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to get rid of them. My battery is going to die on me. And on... Yeah, yeah, you have to fall down, of course. And on the no pile, these are going to the bean. Three by Ofra. One from Kiko, one from Essence, and two from Maybelline. So definitely these are going. So seven maybes, seven going to the bean, and everything else I kept. So this is it. This is my declutter. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, these are very uneven, but never mind. Well, my battery died on me, so I don't really remember if I showed you the beans. So... This is the no one maybe, and this is the keep. So definitely the keep is larger and bigger and has more products in it than the no and maybe. But this is what her turns out. And well, I do remember saying that this is my video and I can do a declutter as I want to do a declutter. This is my party and I'll cry if I want to, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, but if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It will make me happy. And look at that, I cleaned. And the stain of the grapefruit is still here. It doesn't want to get out of my hand. Look at my hand. Suffered a lot from this video. <laughs> so give it a thumbs up. Don't be shy. And subscribe before you leave. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.